Good morning, your time 649 waking up. Not a bad start. We do have a mostly clear skies. Just a few cumulus clouds have tried to pop up. Not seeing any rainfall in the metro and as warm. It's a little bit more humid as well. You can see here it's going to be another hot day. We'll get into the upper 80s to lower 90s with about a 20 to 30% chance of showers and storms mainly after lunchtime. So we're talking 3, 4, 5, 6 o'clock when we get in that peak daytime heating hours. That's when we'll see some of those storms bubble up. Current temperatures this morning 80 degrees at the airport, 79 at the lake front, 72 at Slidell and Hammond. Gulfport, you're at 73 and some upper 70s. As you get a little bit closer to the coast. Homa, a little cooler at 73. So not bad, but you're going to notice the humidity a little higher this morning when you step out the door. It doesn't feel as nice and dry as what we have the past couple of mornings. 70 feet for dew point uh, at the airport, 70 degree dew point at Hammond. So most areas, especially south of the lake, are at least in the mid 70s, and that is where you're definitely going to feel some of that humidity. It doesn't feel as nice, unfortunately. Live radar, though, not really looking at any rainfall in the area currently. We were tracking a few showers, uh, downpours just to the south of the coast and kind of south uh, in the lower bayou parishes down towards Port Fouchon, Cocodri, Chauvin. You were seeing a downpour earlier. A lot of that really has kind of cleared up. These will pop up and then they'll kind of rain themselves out pretty quickly. And that'll be the story as we go throughout today. Not everyone's going to see the rainfall, but there is that chance of seeing some of the downpours. So by 1, 2 o'clock, notice models popping up a few of those downpours across the, uh, the lake and north and south of the lake. That story continues as we go throughout the afternoon, so don't be surprised if you see a downpour or two this afternoon. Not going to be a washout. It's not going to rain all day long. Not everyone's even going to see the rainfall, but you will have that chance. As we go into this evening and tonight, we dry out clear skies. It'll be very comfortable tonight. We'll actually get another push of drier air, and what that means is we're not expecting any rainfall for Monday, but it's still going to be hot. We'll see highs getting into the low lower 90s with just a few passing clouds. So the reason we're thinking that it's going to rain today is because we actually have kind of an enhanced area of moisture. You can see it here uh, kind of drawn out over the area in the middle of the scale. This isn't, you know, record breaking moisture in the atmosphere, but enough to spark off some of those showers. But what will be happening as we go into tonight and Monday is we're on the back end of this upper level low. Imagine the winds around this are counterclockwise. It'll push some of this drier air from the north down in. You see that plume of moisture today. It's going to head towards Texas, but there's that drier air continuing to filter in even through Tuesday and Wednesday. And what that means is we'll stay dry. It'll be hot but we're not going to be dealing with <clears throat> those afternoon showers and storms. The deep tropical moisture fortunately staying well to our south. You can see here kind of this dividing line. That's that oppressive kind of the deep tropical moisture we saw earlier this week after the tropical storm moved on through. So our dew points will be going down after today, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Probably not going to be very bad. It'll feel a little bit more uh, bearable if you're going to be outside. Still hot, but not as humid. And then our humidity really goes up as we go into the back end of the week and into the weekend. This is how it should be this time of year down here. You know, when we get dew points in the 60s, that's really just a treat. Uh, not very often that it's that comfortable outside. Our high temperatures, though, staying hot. We'll see the lower 90s, so you still have to be careful if you're going to be outside. You might just not have to deal with, uh, or you might it might feel a little better if you're going to be outside with the lower 90s. No tropical development expected, so that is certainly some good news. And overall, our weather remaining very, very quiet as we go through the middle of June. That's how we like it. Uh, especially as we get, you know, more into the summer months. Usually we're dealing with those pop up storms. Not the case other than today, but look at that lower 90s. Fortunately, the mornings will be fairly comfortable in the lower 70s to upper 60s. Next rain chances come as we go into next weekend. Stay with us. We'll be right back.